Hey guys, Ponzu Sauce here, and I'm back with another texture pack tour. This time we're taking a look at Lie's resource pack by Lie101. This is a 64-bit pack. It's about 85% uh, complete. Um, it looks like maybe we have some odd uh, some odd text going on here, but uh, it looks pretty cool so far. So we'll see how complete it is see if it's actually 85%. Uh, so we have some really nice stuff going on so far. It's somewhat smooth for being a 64-bit pack. So we have the vegetation uh, growth stages going on. You can see basically looks like all the items in the frames are, are changed. Maybe not the nether ward. I really like the tilled the tilled soil. That looks really nice. And the side of the uh the soil is pretty awesome. The uh the wheat looks fairly realistic, which is awesome. How many times am I gonna say awesome? Um so we have the nether wart. I'm not sure it's difficult to tell if this is updated or not, but we definitely have a different uh soil sand going on got some cocoa beans and of course that's attached to the jungle wood so let's head on inside got a large chunk of things done in here for sure maybe not the music and jukebox yet see if there's yes there is custom UI going on pretty nice looking I like the sandstone. The sandstone is definitely a different perspective than I've seen before. We have uh, different armors. A lot of really cool looking custom armor. I like the red one there. I think that's uh, diamond armor there. Got... Oh, look at this. We have a little bit of 3D going on with the uh, enchant enchantment table. Let's take a little bit more of a... Oh, man. The shading in this pack is really good. It's really well done. You can see things kind of pop out, but, like, I mean, it's not 3D. But it feels like it really... The quartz there pops out at you. Got the brewing stand. It doesn't seem to be any modification, just the text to the UI there. Of course, we have uh, some items maybe not quite done, but that's okay. It isn't 100% complete, so... We do have some custom tools. That's pretty awesome. Really cool looking. I like the red swords. And we have completely different buckets. I've never seen buckets that are square like this. So that's uh, nice to see. Got different hose. Maybe the, uh, the diamond hose still needs to be done. And the diamond shovel. Yeah, there's a few. Ooh. I'm really interested to see what happens downstairs when we get to the basement. There's going to be some pretty awesome looking mobs, I think. Alright, so we have some trap chests. You can definitely tell that it's a trap chest with the, the red latches there. We have the regular chest. Do we have a different furnace? A little bit of a different furnace UI. And of course the crafting inventory have a nice little uh, 3D bed. That's a 3D bed. Awesome. Oh my goodness, look at these trap doors. Those are awesome. This is definitely a completely different view on trap doors and it's amazingly 3D. That's great. Oh, oh, do we have 3D? It looks like 3D, but it isn't quite 3D. Those are the iron blocks. Got all the types of food. Looks like a couple still need to be done. Let's take a look in the biome rooms. We're going to have the savanna up first. Looks like the savanna wood is uh, quite dark. Um, is there... I'm not sure if there's too much difference with the uh, villagers. If there is, it's super subtle. Might be just up in resolution. But we have some really awesome looking torches here. Those are pretty cool. And of course, this is all the acacia wood throughout this room. We don't have any custom horses, but we have a new bale of hay. 
And of course the uh the redstone lamps, those are the redstone lamps. Do we have some custom fire? Uh doesn't look like it, but we do have some 3D some 3D iron bars going on. That should be pretty interesting to see when I get to the Nether. This grass, this tall grass is like somewhat crazy and obnoxious, but it looks really cool. We don't have a custom cow. We have custom paintings. I'm always excited to see people put in uh, custom paintings. That's always nice. See what we can see in the roof forest. Let's take a look at the more custom paintings. All right, so it looks like maybe there's a reskin for two of the uh, paintings. Uh, looks like maybe we don't have a custom mushroom yet. We've got, uh, I didn't even notice this before, but the, the crafting table is definitely popping out. It's nice and 3D. It'd be really nice to see the forge do that too. The chest, of course. Fairly well done. This is all the, uh, the dark oak that you're going to find in the game. Let's go on to the birch forest. What do we have here? Some nice doors. Like I like the fact that they're so far all complete. They're all nice and done. We've got the birch trees, of course, and the uh, the lit up jack-o'-lantern. See if yes, the regular pumpkin has a face, so that's awesome. We're gonna see the uh, snow golem have a face. Always makes me a little bit sad when uh, the snow golem doesn't have a face. Got some custom flowers, so let's see uh, when we finally get to the flower forest whether or not that's a complete thing or not. Um, so we have the jungle area here, and we have some mossy cobble and some mossy stone. Fairly nice looking, and we also have the vines. This is the uh, the jungle wood, and this is the jungle wood in its various forms, stairs and slabs and such. Fairly mute kind of uh, texture to the the squash, or I mean the melon. Jump into the taiga. Do we have custom dogs? Oh no, we don't have custom dogs. All right, that's okay. So this is all the spruce wood, everything that you would find in a taiga. This uh, sometimes when I see tall grass like this it spooks me like I mean if I were to play on survival I fear that a creeper might be hiding just behind these things like it's they're large enough and you can't really see through them that would be a little bit spooky in uh, survival mode so that's pretty awesome looking going to the regular forest we of course have our pumpkins again we do have some different smoke on the fire just not a different Fire. Okay, so that's pretty interesting. We have some nice brick going on. Looks like uh, maybe just started to try out 3D stuff in this uh, in this texture pack. So some of that is a start. Uh, looks like we have default chickens. We have uh, sand over there, and this is the clay. Not too much animation for the water, so super subtle. Let's take a look. Are there any different fish? Looks like the puffer fish is the only fish that is complete that's changed. Let's check out the swamplands next. Do we have different? Maybe we don't have different slime. Oh, look at that boat. That looks really cool. Although it looks a little bit off when you look at it. The the metal pieces there are kind of out of balance a little bit. Alright, so we have uh, the, a completely different cauldron. It's like the iron, of course, uh, with a little bit of a 3D depth uh, shading going on, but it's not actually 3D. Looks like we have a, a default pot course we have everything else in here looks pretty cool it actually comes together in that room so into the desert uh, what do we have here we have updated cactus 
and of course the sugarcane. The sugarcane are actually quite square looking. You don't usually see them look so square like that, but uh, the shading on it definitely makes it a little bit more square. We have the sandstone, and this is exactly what I like to look for. It's a nice balance between the three types of sandstone blocks. Um, they blend well together. The right colors are on them. It uh, it works. Got another floor of biome room, so I'm going to head up there. First off, we're going to see the nether. Ooh. Hello. All right, so we have... <laughs> We have some custom paintings, still more of them. So we have completely different nether brick. It is black. Very interesting. Nice perspective. Oh my goodness, this this room is so much more brighter now. So we have the custom uh, lava going on. It looks like everything blends fairly well. The only difference, uh, I do have the rotated textures on, so um, the nether rack doesn't quite blend well together with the rotation, but you can turn that off if uh, if you wish. We have some really cool looking gravel over there, nice and colorful. Take a look at the iron bars. This is some really well made iron bars. It it matches up perfectly. When the end when the bars end, it just like that's there's no extra crap on the side like I usually see a lot of extra stuff on the side and this one just kind of cuts off and it it looks nice and smooth that would be really awesome to build with probably the best iron bars I've seen so far all right so this is where we're gonna check out the cave stuff got all the different blocks that you'll get from the cave got a really different perspective on the um, the blocks for the for the resources. Do we have we have custom rail? That's pretty awesome. It's kind of 3D feeling, but isn't quite 3D, so that's a that's a work in progress. Pretty awesome. Wow, everything kind of has the right shading to be 3D. It'd be really interesting to see if this pack does become full 3D. So of course we have the, the anvil, we have all the resources. The gravel, I like the gravel. The gravel having a different color other than gray in it is a really good idea. The red, wow, look at those redstone torches. The animation off of that is pretty cool. I have never seen something so animated like that. That's pretty great looking. Let's see what we have for TNT. Oh, we actually don't have anything written on the TNT. That's completely different from what I've seen in the past. And of course we have the different webbing. Let's take a look at the ladder. Oh, I didn't even see the ladder in the other room. Look at how... Wow, look at how much that pops. That's amazing. 3D ladder is probably the best I've seen. That That is really well done. So we have... This is the bedrock here. What else do we have? We have the obsidian. Let's see what the flow of water looks like. Very interesting flow of water. Kind of uh, subtle. Not too crazily done. Let's go on to the Mesa, see what we have going on. Looks like this is a fairly complete pack. What they said was complete is uh, fairly true. Now, again, I have the rotated textures on. Um, so the red sand actually kind of blends somewhat together. Except for when they're reversed. <laughs> but it still works. Um, seems like we have some pretty nice red sandstone going on. It blends fairly well. And of course we have the, the stained clay in all of its forms, all of its colors. Very bright colors. Fairly nice looking. I didn't even see the dead bush earlier. It's, uh, it's you know, a dead bush. Alright, so nice colors on the stained clay. Let's pop into the end, see if there's any changes. Um, uh, maybe the end stone hasn't been changed quite yet. And of course the ender crystal, not yet. But we have the obsidian and the... The bedrock. And the iron bar is just crazy. These are the most crazy detailed iron bars I've ever seen. There's so much detail to them. 
check out the Mushroom Island. Looks like maybe this might be the work in progress part. We do have some different animation on the mycelium, but it's the default mycelium. Um, and it looks like the same mushrooms, the default mushrooms. And the mushrooms, while they do have new mushrooms on them, they are still default actual animals. Check out the ocean temple. Alright, so we have a lot of changes in here. Not quite everything. Looks like uh, maybe the sponge is the work in progress part. So that's the wet sponge on the other side. This is the, the dry sponge. Got the gold blocks, the treasure you usually find in an ocean temple. I like the, uh, the take on the uh, sea lamp. It's pretty uh, different, that's for sure. Got some really nice stuff going on in this pack. Oh my goodness. Alright, so I'm always excited to find out what people do with ice. And this is a fairly well done ice pack. This is, uh... It's done fairly well. So this is, this is the packed ice here, and this is the packed snow. And the packed ice has a similar texture to... The regular ice except the opacity on the regular ice is exactly what I would want it to be it's just you know just enough to see through not too much see through but you know I like to be able to see what's under there a little bit you know I like for it to act like actual ice so all right so we definitely have this is the flower forest we definitely have a lot done in this flower forest not quite everything maybe uh, just the double, the extra tall flowers still a work in progress, but pretty much, well, maybe this this one right here. But pretty much everything else is, seems to be completely retextured. Alright, so pretty cool looking with the birch and the oak. Really nice. So that's it for all the biomes. Uh, we can head down to the dungeon. We'll see how many mobs are textured. Alright, so I don't think that there was much done with the villagers. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, seems like default villagers. And golems. Yes, yes. Alright, but we do have some new items, of course. Just gonna take a quick scan through here. Looks like the pig. The pig is not default, so that's an updated texture. Just gonna super scan through here, make sure that we get as much into the video as possible. We have some updated zombies. Looks like maybe not quite uh, the zombie villagers. That might be the next thing on the list to do. We have a default witch. Looks like we have a nice updated skeleton. It's an interesting looking skeleton. Got default spiders. We have some new creepers. Pretty uh, olive color to them. And uh, looks like the animation is default for the, the lightning effect for the lightning creeper. Alright, so all of the rideable mobs are the default. What else do we have here? Looks like uh, no changes down this hall. Oh, we have some different animations. Wow, that's... I really like the uh, the animation idea. That looks like bubbles and stuff. It's pretty cool. Let's take a look over here. Do we have any differences? Nope. Alright. Next section. Got the rabbitses. Rabbitses. Rabbits are default. And same with the cats. Alright, so let's take one one last look down the mobs. We have all of the wool. Alright, so we're looking at uh, the textures between the wool and, of course, the, the sheep versus the dye. See if they're somewhat similar color. That's what I like to see. Nice updated uh, matching system. So, got some really nice looking dye. This one may be a little bit too purpley for uh, a nice blue. And this one's super crazy pink. Like, this is the pink over here. 
This one should be magenta more. That's pretty good looking. All right, let's head up to the very top floor. That's where we keep the biggest beds in the game. And of course, with a little bit of redstone stuff. Fairly smooth back so far. Like, I mean, I haven't really had too much lag. All right, so this is all the red sand, red, redstone, redstone stuff. There we go. Again, with the music block and jukebox, they're, uh, they're a work in progress, I guess. So we have the red sand, redstone. Wow. Why do I want to say red sandstone? For some reason. Oh, okay. So here's a, a better look at the iron trap door. Pretty cool looking. I much prefer the, uh, the wooden one. It looks really cool. Like, I mean, I, that's a great idea. Super pops out at you. Got some nice looks going on. Let's see if there's any changes to the mobs. So we definitely have a different spell effect on the wither, but uh, the wither is actually default. The death effect is pretty cool. Let's see what we have with the gas. Do we have? Oh, what the heck! <laughs> all right. So that <laughs> that was not expected at all. <laughs> all right, you got me there. Again, the death animation. <laughs> I was not expecting a completely recolored uh, ghasts. <laughs> All right, so we have the um, we have the uh, the nether portal here. It's uh, completely redone. I like the animation on it. It's pretty cool. It's completely different. Like that's for sure. Let's see if we have a different Ender Dragon. Oh, wait a second. What is this? This is what? What the heck is this? This is supposed to be the dragon egg, and it is something completely different. It's like a statue of some sort. Does that mean that the dragon's gonna be different? I am slightly scared here. I'm not sure what's gonna happen. Let's hit it. Oh, oh. That was a little bit of a letdown. I was thinking maybe there would be something completely different, but there you go. That was Lie's Resource Pack by Lie101. If you would like to download this pack, a link to that download is in the description of the video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm updating... Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm uploading videos frequently of newly posted and newly updated texture packs. And leave me some sort of comment. What was your favorite block in this texture pack?